Junior Drag Thru. My name is Bill. If you haven't learned about it yet, go ahead and check out a, check us out at Junior Drag Thru Plus. Uh, that'll be you know I'll add a link at the uh, bottom of this uh, video here. And my name is uh, my username on the board is Wild Bill. Go ahead and ask him all the questions you want. There are no silly questions, just, you know, we've heard it all before, and we've all been there before, so go ahead, give us a shout out, and check us out, and we'll be more, we'll all be more than happy to help you. Now, on to the video. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Another Learning About Junior Dragsters video. This video is going to be a follow-up to replacing brake pads video I did a little bit ago. Um, remember on Junior Dragster Plus, Rusty440 asked me, uh, what I use for the proper clearance when I'm putting everything back together, you know, as far as the, uh, pads and the rotor. Gave me a good idea to do another follow-up video on it, so I'll show you how I set the clearance and get you a good shot, you know, on the car and get her done. All right, now that we got you moved in here where you can see, hope you get a good angle on everything. Again, we got our quarter inch Allen. Fits in the uh, head of the adjuster there. I'm um, using, I like to shoot between about five and ten thousandths depending on the uh, rotor run out. You know, because every, the way, just the way the hubs and the rotors are designed, they clamp onto the axle. <coughs> You know, when you tighten it down, there's going to be a little bit of a run out. You know, so you want to definitely make sure you check it. You know, around, around, you know, roll it around, check it in a few spots. You know, I like to adjust them a little bit of a, t you know, one on each side here. You know, going front, you know, going front to back. You know, run this, run that one in a little bit. We'll come back over here, run that one till we get a little bit of a drag. And run that one till too much. Back it out. I got a nice drag on that one. Come back over here. Come over. Feels like we got a little bit tight right there. Put too much drag on them. You know, it's going to pre you know, wear prematurely. You know, car's not going to go as fast as it could. You start to overheat the rotor. You just wear things out a whole lot faster than you need to. Do the same thing over here on the other side. I wasn't trying to uh, work around the camera. I thought you could, you know, you can actually shine a flashlight down through here. If you're looking straight down on there, you can kind of see the gap closing up. You know, you don't want, you don't want them to have to travel too far when your driver steps on the pedal. That's just waste the reaction. You know, you want your pedal travel to be, or your brake pedal to be as high as possible. But just check it over in a few spots. You know, I, like I said, I always come from the side that I'm actually doing the adjuster. You know, if you're doing the 
forward adjuster. I come from the front, doing the rear. You stick the feeler gauge in from the rear. And just try and get them as even as possible. Make sure there's not too much drag. And you're done. All there is to it. And there you have it. Setting the uh, clearance after you've installed your new brake pads. A relatively easy task, but you know, Rust Rusty asked the question, so I figured I'd make a follow-up video to it. And if you haven't checked us out yet, check us out on JuniorDragsterPlus.com. Great bunch of guys. Till next time.